The King of Dragons was released to the arcades in 1991 by Capcom, although it was distributed by Romstar in the US. Up to three players can partake in this fantasy quest with a choice of five different characters to choose from. Each has their own unique attributes and attacks, which makes playing with the various characters fun to try out each. I am partial to the cleric. You must make your way through the Kingdom of Malice over the course of 16 stages, and although the levels are fairly short, this is still a fairly long game when it comes to arcade standards. One of the great things is that the longer you play, the more powerful your character becomes via a level up system which sees your life meter increase, as well as defense and attack. What's presented here is typical Dungeons and Dragons type fare, with the various monsters and creatures that are shown throughout the game. But even so, the artwork is 100% 90s Capcom, which means it's clean and inspiring sprite work. Your goal as you travel through the kingdom is to find the red dragon Gildas and face him in battle. Every once in a while, there will be NPC characters that will give your characters clues as to where to locate him. It gives it a bit of an RPG vibe, which is nice in a hack and slash game like this. Great game and a highly recommended play. This was also ported on the SNES with some modifications of course, like going from 3 players to 2, and the sprites being shrunk down a bit. But the feel is still there, although I prefer the arcade version. Capcom also released The King of Dragons on PS2 and Xbox on their Capcom Classics Collection Volume 2 and on PSP with Capcom Classics Collection Reloaded. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank <laughs> you.